Today I'm going to show you how to make a garden sack. Howdy from down on the farm. We're back. Our apologies that it has been so long since we posted a video. I think it's been five weeks. That's the longest we've gone in the last year. Due to Christmas and everything that comes along with that, including colds all the way around and bronchitis for myself for many weeks, we have not been able to get a video up this whole time, but we are back and excited to welcome all of our new subscribers that came while we were gone. Many of you came over from Art and Brie when they reviewed our herbal knot coffee. Thank you to all those who put an order in to give it a try. We hope you are enjoying it. If you are, do let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So today we thought we would give everybody a little update since it's been so many weeks and also because we have a bunch of new subscribers. So it'll be a quick update because January is probably the least exciting month on the farm. But it's going to start getting more exciting because we're going to be planting very soon. As you saw when we first walked through the greenhouse, everything's dead or a good portion of it's dead and moldy and it needs cleaned up in here. We are going to do that on Thursday and we're going to take you with us. You can see the beans behind me. These were green beans that we planted as a test run and they grew lots of big beautiful leaves and it looked fantastic in here but they only put out a handful of beans so we won't be doing green beans in the greenhouse anymore. And these are more than ready to come out of here. The spinach did not do so great, given that the gardener was sick for so long that it didn't get watered. So I guess it's not doing too bad for such neglect. So let's go out of the greenhouse here. I'm gonna go check on a few of the other things here. For those of you who don't know, we have just a small two acres, just under two acres actually, that we are trying to homestead on and be more sustainable with our food production. Out here we have our pasture. At the moment the chickens are out here. They free range and then we put them up at night in the barn and we haven't had any predator problems yet. Back here behind me is our outside garden versus greenhouse garden. We've had this about two years, I think, maybe three. I think two. Two years. Over the way there is the electric poultry netting and a chicken coop. And usually our chickens are in the garden and we rotate them through different areas as they scratch and till and manure. We follow with mulch and then we plant. So that's kind of the little rundown of our farm. There's just really not much exciting going on yet, but it's getting close to the warmer season, so we should be planting in the greenhouse shortly. With that little update on our farm, we are gonna head into the farm kitchen, and I've had a special request from a very special customer of ours, you know who you are, to show how we make our herbal salve. So we're gonna head into the farm kitchen and I'm gonna show you how to infuse oil 
and how to turn that into an herbal salve that you can take with you wherever you go. Today I'm going to show you how to make a garden sack. So for this recipe and three more, see the link below. We have free printable salve recipes for you there. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more of this, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and we will see you next time. Photo bomber! Oh. Can you say salve? Salve. Bum bomb? Bum bomb. Garden salve? Garden salve. Arnica? Arnica. Calendula? St. Fiacra's farm. Fiacra. 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 Thanks for joining us on the farm.